Hey guys, welcome back. It's Chimney Swift here from the Minecraft Workbench community. And this is episode 34 of the Minecraft Files. And things might be looking a little different today. I uh, had a texture pack uh, made for me. And it was made by Shattered Mosaic Films. So I wanted to thank him for sending this to me. I think it looks really cool. I love the look of the torches and how they look like the little energy saving light bulbs. Um, and the suns are dual suns. Uh, actually, which are setting now, so let's get started. So what we're going to be doing today, um, I would say by user request and then list a name, but I've gotten so many requests to do this um, that we're finally just going to do it, but I don't have a name to put to it because there's like 100 people that want me to see, want to see this. So today we're going to finally build an underwater Pueblo. So I'm at the docks here, and we're going to get in the boat, and we're just going to head over to the little spot that I prepared, past the pigs that look like creepers. That is creepy. Alright, so we'll get over here. And I've placed jack lanterns, which seem to look like uh, snowmen faces down in the water. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a little place to breathe. So, first thing we got to do is build a. Uh, let me get some more air real fast. I'm going to build a place that's too high, like that. And uh, then we're going to stick a ladder on it, or a sign, either way. I showed you guys how to do this before. Now we can properly breathe underwater here. Now we can work underwater safely and uh, build this Pueblo. Okay, so let's get started. So what I've done here to light up this area down here, because I knew this video was going to be dark for you guys, uh, being that it's underwater, um, is I've marked off uh, the 6x6 six six design with these jack lanterns here. So they're giving a, uh, off some light. So now we're just going to go ahead and reconnect the uh, the structure here of the Pueblo. And I'm just going to use glass because I want this to be an underwater glass glass Pueblo. And that's the room for the door. We've got to get some air. And we can just build like this. So now like the Pueblos are, we got to go too high. So one, two. We'll come up for some air here. I'm going to have to take a nap in a minute. Get the uh, daylight back. To finish this, we'll run over to the house, go to sleep really, really quick, and we'll come back. Alright, so let's head on over. Let's take the boat, this is faster. I love boats, they're so much better than trying to swim through the water. That's just so slow and just tedious. So I try and use a boat wherever I go, but I usually don't always, not always successful. So we'll go take a quick quick snooze up here in the um, treehouse loft and I love this in the texture pack the bed has the bed has a creeper bed spread on it that is awesome it's fantastic here we go to bed oh. wake up in the morning let's get back to building all right, so we've made the Pueblo the too high on the sides, like uh, is the standard design. And we'll ride the nice little boat back over. All right, so let's get back to work. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take our glass and we're going to connect these structures like this. If you guys don't know how to build a, the, one of the little play, Pueblos that I designed, uh, go back and check out episode one. Um, I designed it uh, pretty much step for step, instruction by instruction. And uh, if you guys want to know how to build that, then uh, check that out. It'll be really helpful. So, let's see. Put the... Uh, well, I guess everything's a window, so not really going to need. Thanks. I was going to leave room for the windows, but the windows we're building with windows basically, so don't really need to leave room. And obviously, if you're close enough to the surface, you can go up and uh, and get air, but it's always uh, it's always nice to have a little airlock down there with a, a sign or a ladder. To make sure that you are able to breathe. 
underwater without always having to swim up. But now we're getting higher uh, to the surface here. So I can just poke my head up like this. And we'll be fine. Now, here's the trick. We've got to get all the water out of the play, play blow. So we're going to fill this with wool. And then we're going to burn it. And that should... I've heard that it works. And it should work, I would hope. So we will see... For sure, if we're right, any minute now. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, we're taking damage. <laughs> trying to do this as fast as I can for you guys, I'm sorry. Guys, I revised my website today. Uh, I wanted you to know. I switched services. I went from Blogger to WordPress. And uh, it looks really, really nice. And I wanted to let you guys know that because I now have the ability by using WordPress. Okay, I, gotta, I gotta get a flint and steel to burn this. Um, by using WordPress, I now have the ability to upload my save world file to the website for you guys to download. However, if you saw the uh, video I did two videos ago called Update Announcement 2. The only way I'm going to upload that save world file to you guys is if I get a thousand likes on that video. Now, make sure you guys go watch that video because I announced a couple good things in there. And um, I want, I really, really want the, I want to be able to upload that save world file for you guys because I really want to get that out to you. Um, you know, because you guys are such great fans. So I want to get that content to you, but make sure you guys tell your friends to like that video. Um, oh man, this texture pack is so hard to find. I don't know. I don't know what is what. I'm not used to this yet. I'll just make one. We got iron ingot and flint anywhere. Oh, jeez. Well, the other thing we can do is just go... Oh, no, I don't have it in here. Let's go cut it down. Cut down all the the wool by, by hand, which we'll, which we'll do. Um, shoot, I don't see it anywhere in here. Alright, well, let's, uh, oh, it's over here. It's over here. I know, because I made the fireplace in here that one episode. It should be in here. Yes, there it is. Perfect. Got it. Let's light some fires. Okay, so, yeah, make sure you check out that video. I, I announced a couple cool things, like the new email newsletter that I just put out. Um, still trying to get the website figured out, but uh, it looks a lot better than the last one, so make sure you head over to www.chimneyswift11.com and check out all the cool stuff we got going on over there. So, um, just want to make you guys aware of that. All right, so let's burn this wool down and see what happens. Can I not? Uh-oh, I think I have to... I need to work my way in there. Does it, wool burns, doesn't it? Ugh. This is going to be a pain. Alright, so let's close this off. I'm just going to walk in here and uh, not commit suicide, but I can breathe. And uh looks like we've got it plugged off. So if I successfully can remove all this... Let me remove this around me, and then we can try and burn it down. Because I don't want to get burned. I know there's water outside, and I can just jump out there, but... Alright, let me stand over here. And we'll light this. Yes! So hopefully that'll... Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't burn me, don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Oh, this is working like a charm. Ah! 
Yes, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make an underwater Pueblo. And uh, let's get let's get a workbench down in here. Like this. And uh, let's craft a door. So we can necessarily keep the water from coming in and out. Oh, this is awesome. And we can get rid of this now. The little airlock that we made. And now we can walk right in and out of our house like this. And uh, let's also throw in some flooring really, really fast. I'll go back and edit this later and make it look a lot better. And I'm going to break one of my rules right now by before the video ends. And, uh, no, I'm not going to do it. I was going to cut out the... the uh, I was going to leave the floor right here is dirt, but I can't do that. The house would not be complete. So we'll cut this away really quick. Oh no, I'm going to swim back. Alright, well in the next video I'll make sure to um, show you what I finished with this but uh, you guys get the idea now of how to make an underwater Pueblo. And I hope everybody that requested this, uh, you know, likes this video and everything. And um, like I said, I'll touch this up a little bit and we will be good. All right, guys, we'll hope to see you for episode 35 of the Minecraft Files. Make sure to check out the new website, www.chimneyswift11.com. All right, thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.